Hey guys, this video is about my DIY electric smoker, how I built it, uh, all the materials that I used in it, the good things that I did on this build, the bad things that I did, um, the, the countless uh, horrible mistakes along the way. Um, we will also review the cost of this whole project. And at the very end, we're gonna fire it up and, and see if it, if it actually works. So stay tuned. All right, I went to uh, finish up the filming yesterday and the clouds came in and it started pouring, so I had a delay. So it's the next day. We're here and there it is. There's the, uh, there's the smoker. And uh, I just wanted to kind of take a step back and, and briefly explain why I decided to do this. Uh, about a year ago, I bought a, a master-built electric smoker and uh, it's just a piece of garbage. It, it barely lasted. Um, I'm not looking to do anything crazy with this but the thermostat went uh it, just everything the, the control panel on top went it was just one train wreck after another and i got i got kind of fed up after ruining a couple nice pieces of meat it's just enough's enough so i went onto youtube to see if i could maybe fix it myself because the only thing worse than the the, the master built smoker was is the customer service and it was just god awful uh they just never got back to me so i went onto youtube to try to find out ways to fix it and I stumbled across a lot of videos of, of people doing builds like this and uh, I figured I'd give it a whirl. So I kind of grabbed, pulled and grabbed from a lot of different videos but I do want to give a little bit of a shout out to Mind of Many uh, which is where I, I got a lot of uh, the, the basics was, uh, was from the video that the Mind of Man Many did and I'll put a, a link in the description uh, to that but he put it you know six or seven years ago but that's kind of where I drew my main influence from so um, so I'm not very handy either so but this again all in all this build was was relatively easy uh, and on the other side of it I'm, I'm not a pit master either my my knowledge of doing this type of smoking is, is is very limited but it is something that it does intrigue me so again uh, it's during the pandemic i had some time to kill so i i definitely figured that uh i'd, I'd throw something together and and, I, and this is what i did uh, i'm not looking for competition smokes i'm not even looking for this thing to get over 225 degrees uh i am an avid bow hunter so I'm looking to do some venison summer sausage. You know, I'm not going above 170 on a lot of these smokes. So um, that's, what, that's, what this, that's what this is for. So the, the basic outside dimensions of this, the outside, it's 23 inches by 22 and a half inches, um, and it's 40 inches high. I don't know how the heck that happened. Uh, the size got away on me a little, a little bit. So uh, I know I wanted it a little bit bigger, than the master built um, and it just it got way bigger than the master built but i know uh, when i go to do those summer sausages i'm going to be able to do 15 20 pounds inside of this with, without any problems so um that's great on the inside the cooking dimensions it's it's 19 inches by 21 inches and 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 27 inches high and then you'll see down on the the bottom drawer um it's it's open on the inside, but that that bottom drawer is so I can get to the the hot plates or the the charcoal um, that I'll be burning as a as a fuel source on the on the inside. So the basic build of this is untreated tongue and groove pine. I I bought eight foot increments. The the one by six tongue and groove fines. They were eight foot uh, increments, and I got eight of them. Um, and the, the skeleton on the inside the, is two by threes. So, and I'll open it up, but it's, it's two by three by eights. And I picked up three of them. The whole thing itself is, is held together by stainless steel screws. Um, I have one and five eighths inch screws and two and a half inch screws. I bought a pound each of them. Uh, and that's, that's the basic body of the smoker. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pick this up. Hopefully the shaking doesn't bother you. So we have here the front uh, and you'll see, and we're going to go over the front of this, um, how the, the tongue and groove go vertical and the rest of the build, um, it's going horizontal. And if I were to go back and make uh, again, a change on that, and we'll get into this in a little bit as I most definitely would not do vertical for the front. I thought I'd 
be cool, do something different, mix it up a little bit, but no, uh, it, it kind of backfired. So I would, again, if I were to redo this, I would definitely go uh, and, and go horizontal like the sides uh, on both the front and back. So the top is vertical. And then we have on the sides there as well um, is all horizontal. I have two latches uh, on this. Again, it, it was an extra, um, not very necessary on that. Uh, there's so many other ways that you could have you could have done that. So again, tongue and groove pine. So then when I open it up, here we have the inside of the build. Um, again, the guts of it uh, are the pine, you can see. And then I have over here, these are, these are two by threes that I, I ripped in half. Uh, not, again, not a difficult thing. Um, and when I was, placing them, what I did is I took a, a shim and I put it in between. So when I'm sliding this out, um, it, it'll hold. Um, again, probably overkill. I, I completely get that. But again, um, that's, that's just what it is. Uh, the, the floor of this, and I don't know why, I also did with the two by three, the two by threes. The two by threes are running directly across it. Um, you could probably get away with the, the, uh, the tongue and groove pine. I, I think as I started build this, I mean, this thing is pretty heavy, uh, again, uh, not the greatest of builds and I was just kind of going with it, but the floor, uh, again, things started getting pretty heavy. So I also have down on the bottom, again, it's all open. Um, the whole thing is open, but that's just a way where I can open up and, and put more wood chips, uh, onto the hot plate. Uh, to get it to continue to continue to smoke without uh, all of the smoke pouring out. Uh, you will also see that I bought uh, gasket. The name of the company, I believe, is, is Lava Lock. Um, and that's just to kind of seal it up, which, again, you're not going to need. Uh, it was one of those things that was most definitely overkill. Um, I did it on both sides. It was a 15-foot strip. Uh, I, don't, I have the prices, I think off, off the top of my head, uh, it was about $14, $15 for 15 feet. Um, not bad, but it's, it's good for me there because what I noticed with the vertical, the vertical slots on the door going up and down is that when I clamp it shut, the vertical, it gives a little bit. It bends because of the force of the clamp. So I gotta loosen the clamp when I lock it down. Um, I don't think any smoke's gonna come out. If it is, it will be minimal, but uh, we will most, most definitely uh, find out how that goes. Uh, lastly, um, getting in is the hinges. A couple of the extra things where I probably want a little bit overkill on would be the, the hinges. Uh, it, was, it was problematic from the door. I just uh, I'm a dummy. I, I had... Uh, four trips to Home Depot to get these stupid hinges. And I, and I don't know what I did or what I was thinking. I just couldn't figure out um, how to get this door on. Uh, and I, again, the, I wanted to keep as much out of the smoke, smoke box as possible. So I wanted the hinges on the outside and not on the inside. I don't know if that's gonna make a big of a deal, but just when I was kind of building it, uh, I wanted hinges on the outside. Um, so there's six of them. Four trips to Home Depot and me just being a dummy. Uh, we also have the, the thermometer there. I'll, I'll put the, I mean, that was about $14. Again, not necessary. Uh, I don't know why I kind of decided to do that, but I, I think it looks cool, looks cool when you're looking at it. Um, yeah, so again, some of the problems that I can, you know, mistakes that I made, again, the floor of it, having the, the, the two by three floor, not the greatest of ideas. Um, my latches, all right, beat me up all you want. I deserve it. And then, uh, again, it just, I'm not a master carpenter. The two by three that I bought was warped. So you'll see how it bows out. No smoke is gonna leak out, but uh, nonetheless, it's there. Uh, bad craftsmanship, but that's pretty much it. The only thing I wanna add on this 
I'm gonna open this back up is, and, and probably where you can save some money is these grates. Uh, I didn't have grates, um, and I, 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 for whatever reason, I truly wasn't thinking about it when I was making the frame of all this, um, and this was kind of all I was left to. You could probably find significantly better ways to put grates into this thing. Uh, I know it drove the cost up on me. I bought two of these, um, and what they are, here I have one that's not opened yet. I got, you can get this at any of your big box stores. I don't know if you could see it, there's a glare. Um, but it's expanded metal, three inches by 24 by 24. I didn't need that. Uh, again, the inside is only 19 or 18 by wh whatever I said. So I have a little bit of scraps, which I'll put down on the bottom rows uh, for my drip pan and for my water, uh, my water pan. Um, those, again, I have the costs and I'll tell you them in a second. They were, I mean, they were, I don't know, 22 23 dollars each so i mean that's 50 bucks right there and I, I again like i said definitely a, a cheaper way to go and do this so all right that's that what we're going to do is i'm going to finish it up get the the hot plates in there and i'll just show you what the hot plates are real fast i got these down at walmart single burner hot plate uh 12 dollars 94 cents who knows they could be absolute garbage for all i know but we're gonna fire it up. And if it doesn't work, I can always get one of those cheap uh, charcoal things to put down at the bottom and, and see if that's gonna work. But that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Again, I'm gonna put the, the grating, get these hot plates in, and we're gonna fire it up. Thanks. All right, we've been, we've been going for almost four hours now, and uh, I you know it took a little finagling, but I got it. Um, I got it as high as I, out of the gates. I mean, I uh, obviously I I hit the one burner on full, and it, you know with the the chips on it, and it really kind of took off. Uh, it really smoked up, and it got really hot. Got as high as 265, 270, and, and again over the course of about an hour, uh, I finagled around with the two different burners, um, but I got it to settle in. I just wanted to see if I can get it to hover around 170, and I don't know, we're, we're kind of sitting there right now and it fluctuates a little bit, but again, for, for what I'm trying to accomplish, um, I am going to chalk this up as a win, rare win for the kid. So um, I don't know, thanks for, for watching my video. This is my first video, so I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button and any questions or comments, please put them down in the, in the comment section and I'm gonna list out uh, the costs uh, in the description. I'm going to list out the basic build and then the extra stuff that I bought uh, will be separate. But there's no reason you can't do this uh, for a hundred bucks, even probably under a hundred bucks uh, without any problem. So, all right. Thanks for watching.